College can be overwhelming between classes, projects, deadlines, clubs, sports, internships, jobs, and everything else. There's often too much to juggle. What's worse, there's a perception that as a college student, you're supposed to be able to balance all of these things on your own. We spent a lot to get you there, and I know you won't let us down. Love you. Bye. We're here to tell you that's not true, and if you're feeling overwhelmed, you're not alone. I was really nervous about entering college. Wow. This is my next chapter of my life. I felt so like lonely and isolated and empty. Whether you need help handling everyday stresses or something bigger like depression or an eating disorder, there are ways to feel better. MTVU and the Jed Foundation teamed up to create the Half of Us campaign, where you can get valuable info and hear the real stories of students and celebrities dealing with emotional issues. I felt like uh, nothing I did mattered. I was being abused. You know, um, I was abusing myself. I hated myself. I just always felt like I didn't fit. Some people think that it's just you're just sad. You know, suck it up, you're just sad. Well, it's being sad, yes, but it's a consistent sad. And it's not finding joy in things that you should. Everybody has ups and downs in their mood. If it's lasting for more than two weeks, uh, usually we're more concerned about it having sort of reaching the level of a clinical concern. Feeling this overwhelmed is more common than you may think. Research shows up to half of all students said they'd been so stressed they couldn't get their work done or enjoy social activities. I would fight back tears all day in class. Then as soon as I got back here, I'd just let it all out. And when I was done a couple minutes later, I wouldn't even remember what made me cry. I was in college. I was 20 years old lived on my own, had my own job, worked full-time at Walmart overnight. I was trying to juggle all these things at once, and I liked the independence, and I liked proving to myself and to the world that I could handle it, but I couldn't handle it. Likewise, it's important to keep an eye on your friends. What you're looking out for in a friend is a sizable shift in the person's mood and state of mind. When they're talking mostly about things that are negative, pessimistic, especially things directed at the, the person's self, those are signs that you could be looking out for in a friend. I'm stopping by, all right? Often the person will say, no, go away, I don't want to hang out, I don't want to do anything. That is the illness itself. Listen, you've been saying that for a while. Let me help this time. The one thing I do want to say to anybody, if they have a friend who they think is depressed, you know, you already know what to do. Relax. Be their friend. Don't be afraid to talk to them, that's your friend. What if they weren't here tomorrow? Do you even want to, do you even want to entertain that idea? Hopefully not. Taking control of your emotional health is important for your well-being. We all get stressed out, so how can we stay on top of our game? Making sure you're getting enough sleep, eating regular meals, healthy meals, and exercise has been shown to be a buffer against depression. If that isn't enough, or you're finding those things difficult to do, or you don't have those things available, seeking help from a professional and many resources that are probably available on your campus is definitely a good option. My best piece of advice more than anything is that there are people who feel that exact same thing and have made it through that and uh, I would say more than anything you're not alone in it. Remember it's important to take care of your emotional health every day. Support your friends and if you or someone you know is having a rough time dealing reach out for help. Head to halfofus.com to learn more and to find resources on your campus right now.